Hi everyone, this is the American Stroke Foundation and we're going to be discussing post-stroke bed positioning. A few things to consider before we get started. Take into account how you slept before. Find what position is comfortable for you now. And remember that your body's going to move to a position of comfort at night. So work with that, not against it. And this is a good thing to discuss with your doctor prior to going home from the hospital. So the first thing we're going to talk about is lying on your back. So in this clip, you're going to see me supporting his arm near his elbow. And what I'm doing is I'm just placing pillows underneath his arm, trying to get as close to the shoulder as I can. We want the arm to be positioned slightly above the level of the heart just to help make sure that fluid is moving back to your body and not getting stuck in that hand. And it is very important as well to make sure if you're doing um, this with pillows under the arm to make sure that the wrist is properly supported. We don't want the shoulder, elbow, and forearm to be supported and not the wrist. Next, we're going to talk about lying on your unaffected side. So this first clip is just showing how you can roll in a safer manner if you're working on a smaller surface. So whichever way you're rolling to, you're going to scoot as far back to the opposite edge as you can, and that gives you more room to roll onto your side. And then you're going to see me place some pillows under his affected arm. We want to do this to make sure that the arms and shoulder stays in good alignment, and then also that so that the arm is properly supported. We don't want the arm to be dangling or kind of crossed over his body in an uncomfortable way. And it's also good to help make sure we're supporting proper circulation and blood flow. And then I'm using a yoga mat here. Ideally, it would be a pillow. I'm placing that underneath of his knee to help make sure that that stays in proper alignment and then kind of correcting his ankle placement. And then as I zoom out, you're going to be able to see that his shoulders, hips, and knees are kind of in a very comfortable looking position. Everything's nice and supported. Lastly, we're going to review lying on your affected side. So it's important to note that there may be an increased risk associated with sleeping on your affected side. And this is essentially due to potentially having decreased movement and sensation in that affected side. So they're there's just a higher risk of any injury. But essentially what's really important is to bring the arm forward so it's kind of straight out in front. And then you're going to see him push his arm forward so that his shoulder is kind of protracted or rolled forward. This just looks like laying on your kind of side of your shoulder more instead of purely on your arm. And this is just to help decrease any chances of cutting off circulation. But in summary, we want to make sure no matter what position you're in, you're supporting the affected arm. We want to position the arm slightly above the heart to help with blood flow. You want to work with your body, not against it. And then talk to your doctor or therapist for specific questions you may have about positioning. And thank you for watching.